What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. The hard deck awaits. And I have to fish it with these yahoos right here. Birch, what's going on, man? What's going? Guys, you might have remembered Birch, dude. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I was out here two years ago shooting my very first ice fishing video for my channel, and we slayed him. No, I'm kidding. We didn't actually. Ace, my bro, swore that he would never come ice fishing again, which is his loss because today, actually over the next two days, we're going to kill it because this man right here is our guide, Tyler. Redemption tour. That's right, guys. A lot of you may know this. Maybe you don't, but I actually co-host a podcast with these two guys talking Raider football called Behind the Eye Patch. Go check it out if you're a Raider fan. You can find it on all major platforms. We've also got Tyler's dad and brother, Brian. Dallin. And Dallin, Dallin just told me his name like two minutes ago and I already <laughs> forgot. So the cold is affecting me already. Okay. That's right, Bengal fan. He's been a long suffering fan, much like us. So Tyler's dad is a Packer fan, so he's seen many good years. It's The sun just came up, overcast conditions. It's beautiful, calm, nothing left to do, but let's get out there and start drilling some holes. Alright guys, we have reached our spot and we have like a field of holes you can see around me that the guys have drilled, which seems kind of sketchy because the ice is only like four inches thick, but I'm going to trust they know what they're doing since they've been doing this longer than I have. Birch is the first one in the water. Bro, what are you using? I have got... Sorry to make you pull that up. Yeah. It's just a little little jig with a oh, tip yeah. with a mealworm. Red nice. And white. Well, it... <laughs> The head's had a little better days, but... Hey, that means it's been used. It's my go-to. Uh, Tyler. Tyler knows what's up. Tyler, bro, what are we going for again today? So, there's cutthroat. Cutthroat. Rainbow cutthroat hybrids. Okay. And brook trout. Okay. No pure rainbows. No pure rainbows in this reservoir. Yeah, it's a two fish limit, too. So, and if you, once you catch your second fish and you decide to keep it, you have to be done fishing. Unlike what I thought, I told everybody six fish limit when you come out here. So um, that's just the normal rule for the state when you're catching trout, but not at this reservoir when you're ice fishing. I'm gonna stop talking about fishing and I'm gonna start getting fishing because this looks like a lot of fun. I'm watching guys, I just saw a guy way over there pulled up, looked like a nice 15, 16 inch trout. So we gotta get on it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this is actually brand new, a clam ice sniper rod and reel setup. In this reservoir, I've been told that white. Oh, wait, we got a bite already. Tyler's getting a bite. Here we go. I'll show you guys my setup here in just a second. Let's see if we can throw it down. Come on, Tyler. This is the first fish of the day. Don't mess it up. I know. Pressure. Wait for it, folks. Tyler's going to get him. So guys, the other thing about this is there are some big trout in here. They can get 12, 15 pounds, which for around here is a good size. So we have a chance at a, at a really decent fish today. In fact, we've got a tournament going on, so I'll fill you guys in on that a little bit later here. Tyler's peering down the ice hole. You see him down there, bro? Guys, you can see him down there. It's a biggie, isn't it? There he is. Check that out. <laughs> guys, I told you he was gonna get him. First fish. First fish, all right, all right. Nice, dude, heck yeah. That's a nice fish to start the day, bro. Look at that, nice. So what do we have here, Tyler? This is a Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Wow, that's a pretty looking fish right there. That's probably, what, a good 13, 14 inches long, I'd say? Yeah, just this white tube jig. Yeah, that white color, guys, that's what we're gonna be using today. Nice. Yeah. nice. There, go. there he goes. Nice job, dude. Yeah, I love it. Great way to start. All right, I gotta go get started myself. Okay, guys, so back to my setup. You just saw him catch it on that little white um, tube. I have these little white 
three inch on a little red head um, minnows. Now these are Berkeley gulp. So these are gonna have some scent with them. The bite is apparently really light. So I'm really hoping when those fish hit that with that scent, they're not gonna let go. So I'm hoping to outperform everybody else today. Tyler doubts me with these. So it's time to go get it on here. This one looks good. Anchors away. See how deep we're sitting here. Yeah, we're probably at about like six, seven feet at the most. Not very deep at all. We've got one over here. Here we go. Oh yeah, that looks like a decent sized one. Oh, oh guys, we got doubles right now. Tyler's getting a bite. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Is that another cutthroat you said? Yeah. Yep. That's pretty. Guys, it's probably good, I don't know, 18 inches long or so, would you say? Yeah, for sure. It's a beautiful fish. Pound. He's gonna go right back in the ice hole, looks like. Another pretty fish. That's two. Nice. There he goes. Well done. Okay, guys, so I also am gonna put out a dead sticking rod. This has got the same little white, um, white minnow on it but I've also got a mealworm on there those are really popular around here trout love them I'm gonna just drop that down and we're just gonna let that sit down there there we go nice and clean down we go oh yeah guys 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 this bite oh yeah got him got him oh yeah this is a decent one, guys. Oh, I hate when that line rubs against the ice. That's yeah. just... Yeah, you're good. All right, guys. How do I do this, guys? Just let him play a little okay. bit. No, a, maybe it's, not. It's, it's not. A, that's a cutty. On the dead that's stick? That's oh, that's, oh, that is a brook trout. That's what I thought. See, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, let him fight <laughs> a little. I'm gonna just let him do his thing. So you if guys kind of get his head up. Yeah, yeah. Scoop him oh, that's up a big you. old brookie, dude. That's a nice brook trout, dude. That's, that's a good one. That's to a keep wall hanger. He, you got him hooked. Good. He'll be all right. There oh, you go. Big fish. I'm gonna try to get his head up the hole here. Yep. We don't want to touch the line. Get that ice I'm gonna just let him. He's he's got plenty of spunk. So yeah, yep, let him tire out a little. That's a big brook trout. They don't they don't like it when they come up through the. Now we're cooking, guys. Literally, I might cook this one. <laughs> oh, I would. A brook trout? For brook sure. trout are good. I think that's what I caught last time, right, Tyler? Oh, yeah. That's a nice that's a brook trout. Dude. That's picture worthy. That friend. is very picture worthy. Really? That's so, as oh. big as they come, dude. No I kidding. Almost. almost. I've never I mean, seen a brook trout. You that see big. a brook trout over five or four or five pounds? I've you're, never you're, seen you're one joking, that big, dude. Yourself. No that kidding. Is a big brook that trout. Is a big brook. That's awesome. Guys, it was on that gulp. That gulp minnow, boy, I boy, he ate that thing. Oh, look yeah, at that. That's down to the fun. head. Woo! Look at that, guys. Let's clean up. Woo! I think I'm gonna have to weigh that one up since we've got our tournament going on too. Yeah, you to <laughs> but you have to make sure you get all the snow off because that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just throw some in his mouth too while I'm at it. Pack his bowl. Oh. So guys, these are apparently for the brook trout in this reservoir. This is about as big as they get here. So we're gonna, let's measure him first. Right at 18 inches, guys, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and weigh him here. Guys, I've got a link to these little scales and they've got that little measuring tape on the side. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys wanna get yourself one. Oh, I got another one? Oh, dang! Tyler's gonna work that for me. Let's weigh this guy up. I mean, I'll tell you guys what tournament we got going on. This is between Tyler Birch and I for the biggest fish. So we're gonna stuff this guy with ice while nobody's looking. Here we go. We are at 2.15. Oh, nice. 2.15 Brookie. You better hold him up and get a picture. I will, we'll get a photo of that. Guys, Micah takes the lead early on at 2.15. All right guys, that is a great way to start my day. And we've only been out for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Yeah, probably 45 minutes. So we've already hit three fish. We missed a couple other bites, so great sign that we're gonna keep that one so there's one for me today um so i'm probably not gonna keep anything for a long time because i want to keep fishing the rest of the day and it's still early morning but good way to start for sure we'll definitely be able to cook some fish up on the ice today guys tyler's in on one. Oh yeah 
He's on. On like Donkey Kong. What do you have? What are you feeling, bro? I'm feeling a new leader on the lead board. Oh my, I've still got the scale on me. Feeling pretty cocky, pretty confident. I like it. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh, oh, look at this. Awesome. Look at this. You better not let me try to net him because I'm on the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Oh, we came off. Oh, shit. oh no. Guys, he just came off. I'm going to be like that annoying sports reporter. Tyler, can you take us through the emotions right now that you're feeling? <sighs> really excited at first and then a major letdown. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, you, you feel like you have something in your grasp and then. Right, right. And then uh, when the season starts with the Raiders, yeah, oh, you geez. feel really excited. Oh, Tyler's dad throwing shade yeah. all the way from over there. This is bad. Oh, luckily, it's early, guys. I've got a fight. I've got a feeling Tyler will get redemption. There was no foul play on my end there, so we got it all on camera. Oh, guys, we got a fish over here. Oh, no! Oh, oh my goodness! Wow, that is a nice fish. Live action shot right Jeez, there. Louise, there was a rock Tyler, in my face and everything. Tyler, get out of the way. I thought, going, I thought he was going back. I had to scoop him up. Maybe Dude, no, time, game time decision. Yeah, right? you, you got to do what you got to do. Check that out, guys, on that white tube again. Do you want to measure him up? Well, I don't know if we need to measure. Maybe weigh him. Oh. Another cutthroat? Yep. yep. Beautiful. Hold it. Golly, calm down. He We're going to let you go. Yeah, you're going back in the water, bro. Just chill. Hold on. There you, there you go. go. There you go. There 2. you go. 2.18. Oh, hold up. Hold it. It'll beep. 2.17. 2. Oh, there Two it ounces. is. <laughs> Dude. 2.18. Wasn't yours 2.18? No, mine was 2.15. How long is it, though? Yeah, that's going to be 18. like 19 inches. Uh, it's like 17 and a half. What? <laughs> oh, Birch. Birch oh. has one. Guys, this is live action. We got big time here. What you got, bro? Whoa. Oh yeah. He might beat the one that just got pulled out of the hole over there. Kid you not. I'm not helping him get it. I'll yeah, get I'm not helping him at all either. That's Birch is nice, in the tournament. That's a good cutty. No, no, Birch is oh, in the tournament. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. Just, Can you tell us what you were feeling in that time, Birch? What was going through your mind? Remorse. <laughs> Remorse, that's good. <laughs> Well, anger, anger, nobody helped me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we need to develop some sort of ice hole net. He's okay. It's starting to move into late morning, guys, and it seems like this okay. fishing is starting to light up. So hang on to your rods because no I think we're in for a big day. Come sliding in. What do we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one's on the straight worm, right? Yeah. Nice. Do you want me to grab him or do you want to just, there you go, flop him out. Nice. Another pretty fish. Another cut. Another cutty. Another cutty cutty. All right guys, we just got a bite. Got him. Got him. This is another cutty. Oh, I think this is bigger than the last one, guys. I think Mike is going to move up the leaderboard. Should I stand here and watch it get off your pole? <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that. Nice Woo! Thanks, Birch. <sighs> they're liking that. Uh, they're liking those little gulp minnows right there. That's a pretty fish. I'll bet that's 20 inches. Sweet. So let's measure them up first here. I'm going to go 20. Tickling. Tickling 20. Tickling 20. Nice. All right, now for the way. I need witnesses. Oh, yeah. 2.37. 2.37 yep. is the new leader, guys. Sweet. Pretty fish. We'll go ahead and drop them back in though. That's awesome. Cool. Perfect. Just load it on. 
load it on that little gulp minnow it's got that scent on it i think that makes them hang on a little longer than normal here we go this one just this rod doubled over the bite's been light today guys but this rod from a far piece i tried to jockey tyler oh. out of the way but he was too I fast saw jaws oh oh, oh no oh oh let him wear out dude. oh Don't mama try to... guys we've got a nice fish down here just plain worm yeah on the worm. Nice. Uh, Look at that. That's pretty. That's that's, pretty you know, it looked a lot bigger. It did. When it was yeah. swimming around. Yeah. But that's still a nice fish. Well done, dude. Thank you, sir. What's that Thank number you, four? Z. That's numero quattro. Wow, Tyler's on the fish today. He's got four. He's leading in 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 quantity. quantity. Now we shall check quality. Another cutty. Look at that on the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty. Those are pretty colors. Nice, dude. All right. The scale is all yours. All right, drama unfolds. No, 1.96. That's it? Yeah. Go. Nice, got a couple fish on the ice. Tyler's gonna go ahead and keep that one. He's got a son at home who would really like a trout brought home, so I'm gonna keep that one. Tyler's on another one. This is gonna be number five if he gets it in. Oh, 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 oh my. Ding, dong, ding. <laughs> You going for it? Hoodie, don't tell oh, that. Don't, don't do tell. Holy McNuggets, oh, this no. seems tough. Ah. Wow, there we go. Oh boy. That's a nice one. That's going to be nice. He's wrapped up in the line. That's a good Tyler. Booyah. All right, let's swing him around this way. Come with me. 2.07. There you go. Micah hangs on to the lead, at least for now. By the skin of his teeth. That's right. All right. Pretty fish. Hi, right, guys. I'm running. Old Birch has a nice sized fish, allegedly. We're going to go see what's up. What are we looking at here, gentlemen? Another cutthroat. Nice fish. Come on, Birch, don't let your son down. <laughs> yeah, man. Your legacy me. is riding on this. It's right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Nice. Not a bad fish. No, on that little white tube again. Pretty colors. That is pretty pretty. Nice. Another, another cutthroat. It's a pretty fish. You know, I'm gonna get in on the oh, watch it roll. Get on this side. Here we go. Oh. 1.9. 2.07. Oh. 2.07. Locked in. Locked in. Here you go. All right, so we're gonna take a small break from the fishing. I am anyway, everybody else no is way. still fishing. Of course, I still got rods in the water, so anything can happen, but it's time to eat. It's like 12.30. Check out the sweet little cooking setup. If you guys have watched my channel before, you guys have seen this and actually quite a few videos. I love this little like cook stove, Dutch oven thingy majigger. We're gonna heat up some water uh, for a little hot chocolate. And then uh, we're probably gonna cook some fish a little later. I'm also going to uh, throw down a little cup noodle action. So we're gonna heat up some water for that as well. So I also brought a bag. Check this out, you guys will like this. Where'd it go? Hold up, let me find it. Aha, check this out. Nothing says fishing in Idaho like bringing a big sack of potatoes with you. We're actually going to cook up some fresh golden fries right out here on the hard deck. So I'm pretty excited about this. So. Let's get it underway because I'm hungry. We'll just start by slicing our potatoes. We'll do that for now. That's four potatoes. That should start feeding the troops. We've got our stove on. This says olive oil, but it's actually canola oil. I just refilled it. I was soundly chastised by everybody last time for using olive oil for frying. So I apologize. There we go. Okay, so I was cooking over there. Trying to make some 
french fries with birch. Oh, brook trout. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Oh, 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 oh. You want to keep that one? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that yeah, one. Yeah, that's, that's for that's cooking a, up, man. That's a good looking fish. Yeah, that's pretty. And why are we cook, keeping the uh, brook trout a little more then? They, they're a little bit sweeter meat. A little bit sweeter meat, okay. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, pretty fish. Yeah. Nice, man. Awesome. That'll taste good later. Yeah, that's a good eating size right there. Awesome. All right, got our golden fries. Let's take a little bit of clean snow here and just flick it. Yeah, that just, it like fizzles really quickly. That means that oil's hot enough. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab a nice handful, drop them right in. Get the first batch underway. Jig a little bit here while we're waiting for our fries to cook. Okay, we interrupt this cooking portion of the program to bring you another fish. Dude, that looks like... It's fighting a little bit. Yeah. It's going to have to cut for it. Oh, man. I think that's bigger than the other one. Nice. There you go. Ooh, little gurgle there. That's Not happy nice. with you. That's beautiful. Another nice fish, man. What was that on that, uh, That's the that tube? This one had the... Uh, it's got a little green It's to got it, a little like... chartreuse and white. Yeah. All right, all right. First batch done. Oh, these are going to be a little crispy, but that's okay. Yeah, now we're cooking. Last bit. There we go. Throw another wave on here. All right, for this first batch of fries, I have some salt and vinegar buffalo wild wing seasoning. I love this stuff. You guys, if you watch my channel enough, you know I love this. And on fries, oh, it's delicious. Kind of mix those around there a little bit. There we go. Birch. Want to try a fry or two? Absolutely. This batch wasn't like the my most favoritist. The second batch should be a little better. They're a little in the oil a little longer than I would have liked. Oh man, those are delicious. Nice. That's got a good flavor to them. It's that salt and vinegar seasoning. Ooh, that's good. Wild wings. That's really good. There we go, look at that. I would offer Tyler some, but apparently his gallbladder is giving him fits, so fries are off limits. One. <laughs> you wanna eat one? Yep, just one. Dude, there you go. As you can see, he's on the ground in pain right now. No, I'm kidding. He's actually just jigging mm. his jig. Delicious. Not too shabby, huh? You sure you don't want one more? I'm sure. Okay. The gallbladder might hate you later. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting a bite. Get oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 he took it. Chips, wow. Boy, the hat, he just took off with it. Woohoo. Now we're over. talking. Guys, I saw it just like dink dink, and all of a sudden it just right as I picked it up. Whoosh. I don't think it's terribly huge, but he's giving me a good fight. It's the first fish for a while for me, for Team Micah. Oh. oh. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Uh -oh. Oh. What? Oh. There it is. Nice. Thank you, sir. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, that's a pretty fish right there. Woo. Mmm. Golden fries, guys. I finished the fries. Just caught that fish. We're rolling out here. In fact, I took my big jacket off because it is so nice out. Like, I came prepared for like blizzard like conditions and of course it's now it's like 36 degrees gorgeous dead calm which means probably tomorrow when we go fishing it will be a blizzard so i'm heating up a little water uh for some uh, cup noodles have a little late lunch out on the ice and we're just gonna keep fishing we're gonna keep fishing we've got all rods down and uh you never know what'll happen Let's see if we can get one of these piggies i'm still currently in the lead so we got to defend the title 
All right, time for some cup noodles, guys. I have fancy cup noodles. Cup noodle stir fry, teriyaki beef flavor. These were like 20 cents more. They're like 88 cents a piece. Oh man. Yeah, I was really digging deep into my pockets for these. So we got some water heated up now. In fact, we're gonna turn this off. Save that for later. So we can cook up some fish. All right, take some hot water out. We got a fish fish on. What? Ow! It's just a little one. First, first uh, brook though. For me. Nice. Scores a brook trout. Okay, guys. So the tournament we have going on. This is what the winner receives. So Birch, Tyler, and I obviously are all Raider fans. This is like a wood carved Raider statue, like almost like a tiki statue or something like that. Birch has contributed that. I have contributed an Eskimo ice fishing seat and Tyler allegedly, he's the guy over there peering into that ice hole, uh, is donating a dozen custom handmade jigs made by hand. But obviously the stakes are high, couldn't be any higher than this. All right, so I'm just here jigging away. It's been a pretty slow afternoon. We've caught 19 so far today. I'm still in the lead. So two of our party have left. They had family obligations, so they will, I think they're gonna be both be back tomorrow though, correct? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna hit a different spot tomorrow. Stay tuned, because at any moment, one of the many rods that we have in the water could go off. All it takes is one fish. Guys, bite, 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 bite. There we go. Come on now. Got him. There we go. Now we're cooking. Sweet. It's a nice one. Dirt, look at that. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. New leader. Might be a new leader. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I think that's a new I think so. That's a pretty cutthroat. It needs to beat one or 2.37. That's pretty. There we go. 2.35. Yeah, my other one was longer. I thought this one being thicker though would get it. Oh, Birch has one heading into the sun. Oh. Is it a good one? Oh boy. Oh, he looks decent. Oh boy, we got a contender here. Yeah, probably about the same size as the rest of them. Get him. Nice. What a pretty one. Yeah. That hooks it right in the nose. Oh man, did you, you, that's textbook, bro. Textbook. Textbook. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this brook trout cleaned up. Have a little fish for dinner. I have these gloves here. I actually, there's a guy locally that makes them. They're thermal, they're totally waterproof, and I use them when I'm filleting. They're super sweet. I have a link in the description below if you guys wanna check them out. These are really nice, really, really nice out here on the ice. Especially where normally I'd have to have my hands exposed and uh, to the cold, and it's cold. This is gonna be beautiful, you ready? Look at that. Oh my word. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take this rib area out. All right, check that out. Look at that meat right there. <laughs> that's, I think, that's the reddest meat I've ever seen for the trout that I've ever eaten. That's for sure. So, anyway, we're gonna lay them right in some foil. Got some red peppers we're gonna put over top. I've got some red onion as well. Put all that over them just like that. All right, I've gone ahead and added some slices of butter. I've also got some Johnny seafood seasoning. I'm just gonna coat that over. Just like that. 
And that is pretty much ready. Got the heat on in there. We're ready to eat. Well, not ready to eat, we're ready to cook. All right, we'll just set that right in there. Pretty much right over the fire. Get it cooking. Sweet. All right. Can I take that off? Look at that. Let's open that up a little bit. Oh, you can smell it out here too. Look at that. Whoa, my, it's fogged up. There we go. Check that out. I'm fogging up here. Oh, that looks, that looks ready to me. Let's pull it out and see if it is. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's, we gotta get into that meat, see if it's cooked. Oh, I think that's cooked, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a pretty basic recipe. Actually, I didn't get as crazy as I wanted to because we're starting to lose some light and I just didn't have enough time to really cook as much stuff up as I wanted to. We'll do more cooking tomorrow. Don't worry about that. But I think that's ready right there. Tyler, man, we've got fresh fish right on the hard deck. Look at that. That's incredible. Oh, it smells fresh. It's wonderful. Is that good? That is dang good. Dang it. All right, you gotta- It's you, even got a little bit of like a smoky, like it was smoked a little bit. Ooh, I've gotta get a bite of that. Yeah, it's good. Birch, get a load of these bananas. Oh, you brought your own fork, wow. Yeah. What do you think? That's delicious. I'm thinking we need to cook more of that up tomorrow. That's oh, so man. good, dude. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> awesome. Gosh. Look at this right here. A little onion, a little pepper. There you go. Mmm. Literally caught that fish right under me. Gentlemen, that's delicious. That is. It doesn't get fresher than that. No. Wow. You can cook up your catch right here, right on the ice. Right on the ice. There, there are literally fish right underneath us, and we're eating. One of their comrades. <laughs> and I am fishing for more. <laughs> yeah. Tyler's zeroing in on some. I actually just lost one over there. It was really cool. I could look down the ice hole and I could see the trout actually slapping at my jig. It was really cool. I never was able to hook up on him, but uh, that's the first time I've ever, ever been able to see that. That was pretty unique. Birch with another fish. Let's see it, Birch. Oh, crikey. Guys, look at this. Oh, look at that. That's like raised. Look at this. There's a crack in the ice. And it's up like a like half an inch. Oh, and it runs all the way down there. Oh, good thing it's going to be really cold tonight. Yeah, and it moves. it moves too when you walk across. Yeah. Oh man, this guy's feisty. Oh, look at that. That's a brookie. Nice. Hello. Not a bad brookie either. Woo. Number six. High five. Awesome. Tied for the lead. Heck yeah. Birch isn't done. Ooh. Oh, you need help? Ah, there you go. That's a nice one again. What's that, seven for you? It is seven. Wow. I think he retakes the lead with that one right there. As the clock expires, pulls in probably a nice 16, 17 inch or beautiful. Tyler's now on one. If he can pull this in, he'll tie Birch with seven on the day. Oh yeah, Dude, guys, we might have a new record. For he, Tyler might take a lead with this fish. Oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> oh, it choked that tube jig. Oh my heavens! Wow, look at that! That's a three-inch tube jig. <laughs> Just right down the gullet. Right down the old gullet. I think we're gonna need the scales, ladies and gentlemen. All right, scales are out, here we go. Will Micah retain his lead or is Tyler going to snatch it away at the end of the day? Okay, that's three times in a row, yep. 2.29, yeah. 2 right. just barely under. All right guys, we are starting to lose light. I have with me an Eskimo tent and that's what we're gonna be setting up here on the ice. It's supposed to get, how cold is it gonna get tonight guys? Minus nine. Minus nine. So let me show you uh, how we're gonna be able to spend the night out here on the ice. <laughs> just kidding. We stayed at a hotel. Seriously, I'm not gonna spend uh, a night on the ice when it's negative nine degrees. This hotel isn't without its perils though. 
I think the TV is an only, only a 64 inch, so that's kind of a bummer. And uh, they've got like the basic cable bundle, uh, not the extended cable bundle, so that's kind of a bummer. And then the uh, mini fridge is quite small, so we only have a small fridge and a microwave there, so definitely roughing it on that end. Uh, but we do have a, a full shower and bathroom, so that's not too shabby. Got two queen size beds. And uh, we've got the pull-out couch bed as well. So, you know what? I think we'll be able to make do with this for tonight. Um, not ideal, but we'll live. Good morning, YouTube fam. Island Park is currently five degrees. Some of the other guys are telling me that it's actually minus four, depending on which smartphone you want to go by. Basically, yeah, it's really cold, but it is currently 5.55 in the morning. Day two has officially begun. Uh, uh. I tell you what, guys. Guys, hit the ice, set everything up, give me a call, and I'll head out. I don't think that's going to fly. <laughs> That's incredibly okay. All right, guys. Here we go. All right. Got a very bland looking breakfast sandwich, but it doesn't matter, we're fishing. 6.30 in the morning, let's go. Yeah. There are the other two amigos. Look at that. What a beautiful day. So I'm still in the lead at 2.37. I've gotta to try to retain that lead throughout the afternoon. It's gonna to be tough. I, I need at least a couple, like, I feel like I need a good, like, three and a half, four pound fish to keep this lead. So, we got a full morning of fishing ahead of us. Let's get started. Feels good to be back out on the hard deck this morning. I got a good feeling about today. I don't know why. I just do. Getting these holes cleaned up here. So one of the first things we've noticed out here, you guys can see, see the ice? It's totally clean. Nobody has been over here. In fact, everybody's about 150 yards that way. The ramp's over there, and that's kind of like the common spot. It's the easy access, but we went a little bit off the beaten path, and this ice is smooth. Snow is smooth, so there's nobody's been over here potentially ever, or at least in a long time over here. So we might have some like virgin ground going on over here. So that's kind of exciting. We're not just fishing where everybody else has been fishing. So we'll see if it pays off. All right, ice fishing rods starting to go down. Get a little mealy out here, mealy worm. I'm gonna just use what I used yesterday, guys. I actually didn't catch the most fish. I only caught five, but a lot of my fish were quality. Obviously I'm still trying to retain that lead as far as big fish. And I'm using just a little bit bigger of a lure, of a bait, I should say, than everybody else is. So hopefully, hopefully big baits equal big fish, right? First bite of the morning. I don't even have my second rod down. Birch who started off slow yesterday, ended the day strong. Starts the day with the first bite. Oh, what in the world just happened? That's twice I've done that. Did the line break? It 
caught on the edge of the ice again. Oh shoot! Guys, that's like we have we've had the rod, we're rods in the water like maybe five minutes. That's a good sign at least. Birch is starting off hot. Birch on another one. Dude, you just lost that one over there. Now you're on this over here. It's like Birch might have the first contender of the day here. I see you packing snow on that fish. Jeez. Now I'm teasing that piece of yeah, yeah, Add clean a him water off. To it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Two, three, seven. We have a tie for first place, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, we have a tie for the lead. I better get busy over here because they're starting to creep up on the leaderboard here. Got him. About time. Looks like a little cutty. Come on now. Head right up in the hole there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, man. That's not bad at all. On that little minnow. That's a pretty fish. Wow, that's a really pretty fish. I won't still have to one of those brookies, though. See if we can get one of those. That was, that was delicious yesterday. There we go. Birch on like his 40th fish of the morning. I just stopped filming him, guys, because this is getting ridiculous. I'm just like a catcher, man. I'm like, come on. That's gonna come out and just pop me right in the face. <laughs> oh, I got it. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Another potential contender. All these fish are like two plus pounds. This is awesome. 2.16. Close. Getting a bite, guys. Got him. Nice. It was a fairly decent one. Get another. This might be. Well, he looked a little lighter. Might be a hybrid. Oh, he just came off. <gasps> just throw me in the ice hole. Just throw me in. Just end it. End it right now. My heart. My soul. That's okay. He was probably about the same size of the ones we've been catching. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Oh, that burns, Tyler. That burns. Been an interesting difference for me today, guys. I've been getting my fish while I've been jigging, not uh, not dead sticking. I've had I've had like one bite on the dead stick, but I've had way more bites while I've actually been moving the bait today. So I just have to switch up the tactics a little bit. Have to be a little bit more involved. Oh, bite, 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 bite here. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, it's heating up. Yeah, it's a solid fish. I'll, I'll get him. Oh! Ah, oh, there we go. I thought it was a pretty decent one. I'd weigh that up. Let's weigh him up, guys. I was just talking about nothing's hitting the. Uh, Nothing's hitting the dead stick, and then what do you know? I turn around, the next fish later just nails the dead stick. That's about how it goes. Let's weigh them up. 2.16. All my fish are about that size. Maybe I'm catching the same one. Maybe. 2.16. Guys, still a pretty fish. Love that. All right, so we're gonna start making some soup since we're fast approaching lunchtime. However, I've run into a slight problem. My soup requires potatoes, which I'm pretty sure potatoes aren't supposed to sound like this. These are hard as a rock. That's, that's crazy. So I'm gonna have to stick these in a pocket for the next probably 30 minutes or so and see if they'll unthaw a little bit for me. You, you wing that potato at somebody and you're gonna kill them. See if we can hook into another fish here while we're waiting for our potatoes to unthaw. All right, so start the soup. We're gonna add some Italian sausage first. We'll cook that down. Sausage is almost cooked down, so we're gonna go ahead and add some onion now. Mix that all in. It's starting to smell really good. We'll go ahead and add some garlic powder as well. I usually like to use fresh garlic, but just trying to cut down on all the stuff I bring out here, which 
I don't know why I say that because I pretty much bring the kitchen when I come out, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and add chicken stock next. This is gonna be the base for the broth. Uh, it's kind of frozen in there. I might have to cut this open. And now we'll let that cook down. And what we're gonna do is we will next add our sliced potatoes. We want these potatoes to cook in that broth. We're almost done. All right, while well, we let that cook down, we just got doubles on. It's been pretty much like this all day. We've been just on and off the fish. Look at that focus. Oh yeah. Yeah. The determination on that Determined. face. Come on, Tyler. We got over here another cutthroat. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he choked that thing down. He. Well, they're aggressive he, today. He, he hammered it. No brookies today yet, if I'm not mistaken. Nice looking cutthroat. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Another like 16 incher. Mm -hmm. Nice man. Tyler, are you done playing with this fish over here yet? Are you gonna bring him in? You know, gang, I don't know if Tyler's just leading this on or if he's got a really good... <laughs> this better be a really good fish. That's all I gotta say, because he's fighting this thing. Birch is trying to hook up over there, too. But he's been fighting this thing for, oh, about 15 minutes oh, now. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> I've had it on for about three. That's true. But still, I've he's... got them all. <laughs> Look at the gathering you have around this hole now. Everybody's come to see. Birch is just fighting another one over there. Birch, guys, see this is what it's been like basically all day. I have only captured just basically a tiny glimpse of what it's been like today. It's just been non-stop action. But nothing really big yet. Here it comes. Well, I'd say it's pretty good. I'll bet that goes 16, 17 inches. Well done. Oh, really? All right. Now let's take you to Birch's ice hole. What'd you get? Good grief. Might be a hybrid. That was almost triples. Look at this. Oh, dude, I think you... Look at that. Whoa, he just annihilated that tube, bro. Dad gum. All nice fish. I'm basically camp cook now at this point. So, that's just okay. Because I'll just hammer him later. Oh, look at his tail, though. That's kind of interesting. He's got like oh, wow. a, a chunk out of his tail. Yeah. That's crazy. Down he goes. Good fight. When your small fish is 14 inches on the day, that's a pretty solid day on the ice, I would say. I'm basically taking credit for the uh, flurry of activity going on right now. I think it's the soup, uh, the smell, the aroma that's bringing the fish in right now. So we're not even dead cooking it yet. In fact, let me show you guys some of the extra stuff we're going to put in. So we also are going to add some salt for flavoring. Then I'm also going to add a little extra Italian seasoning. Just give a little extra Italian kick there. Then we're going to also add a little fresh cracked pepper. And then last but not least, we'll add some half and half, which has frozen partially. Oh, no, no, we're good. We still got some. That's starting to look good right there. And the only time I ever buy kale in my life is for this soup. Last ingredient. And stir it all in. All right, guys, another one. I've been told this one might be a good one. I'm telling you, it's the soup. <laughs> the soup's bringing all the fish back in. The soup brings all the fish to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, dude. This is oh, you're telling me <laughs> he just popped the ice. Oh, oh yeah, 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 there yeah. He there he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right in the corner of the mouth. He's right at Here the bottom comes. of the ice. Here he comes. Get him, get him. Scoop it. There it is. Ah, <laughs> that is an ice fish. Now we're cooking right there. Woo. You still have the scale, my I friend. do have the scale. We're definitely... The scale of look the at that. That <laughs> yeah. is a nice fish. That's a really nice fish right there. That's definitely a hybrid. You can see that rainbow color on him. 2.9, locked again. twice. Okay. Locked twice at 2.9. All right, well... That's the big fish of the, of the trip so far. Guys, I'm going to keep cooking this soup up because uh, that's obviously, than... obviously what's getting it done, if you ask me anyway. Oh, we've got rolling, boiling soup. Check that out. Look at that. That's ready right there. Let's test the potatoes. When the potatoes are cooked, you know it's ready. Let's get our soup ladle here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, fresh, hot and fresh on the ice. There we go. Oh yeah. What do you think? Hmm. 
good. I love it. Not bad for out on the ice. Not huh? bad. Plus it warms the soul. Yeah, it really does. Olive Garden-esque. Yes. Zupa Toscana. Yes. Does it Made have... for real men, by real men. Exactly. It doesn't have all the ingredients that the Zupa Toscana does. I didn't have the bacon and I didn't have fresh garlic. So um, those are about the only two things that are left out of it, but it's still mm. fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. What are your thoughts as you're reeling this in right now? The thought is thinking that I almost lost that whole thing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good grief. Beautiful. Another pretty one. Whew. There we go, guys. Probably about another 15 inch or 16 inch. -er. Almost lost my rod. Not bad, though. Let her go. That's 35. Woo! Nice. Yeah! Got him. Oh, yeah, Thank fish on. Man, this little rod's holding his, oh! oh. <laughs> Dang it! Nothing to do but get back down there. All right, gang, so Tyler left. And he signed away his rights to his rod, or actually rods, to me. He'll be back. But uh, he's got a nice fish on the end of this one. I think it's a hybrid. Come on. Come on, little fella. I ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice hybrid. Look at that. Woo. Oh, we're weighing that one up. That's gonna be weighty right there. 2.7. 2.7. Nice. nice We're gonna keep that one, guys. We get two each day. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. That's awesome. That'll taste good. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. For helping me out there. Yeah. All right, all right. 46 oh, coming oh, in hot. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Man. Yeah, that is. Woo. Nice cutthroat. <laughs> well done. 46. Birch is packing up because he's got a long drive ahead of him back to the Hacienda in in the great state of Utah. And literally at the 11th hour. And then Dallin doubles up too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Doubling up. Like this. Bert, nice. Another pretty fish, another pretty cutty on that white tubulature absolutely and how many fish have you caught today out of this uh, 11 11 wow look at that yeah they got that, that like forked tail that is crazy well you do fam there goes the rest of my party right there so i guess that means i win the tournament at 2.7 pounds but i have to say on that last fish that tyler's dad caught it ended up going at 3.03 pounds so he gets the big fish of the trip so far basically just let us believe that we were doing good and then right at the end uh pulls out the big fish of the last two days so that was pretty sweet i'm gonna stay for probably uh another hour hour and a half i've been tasked with trying to reach that 50 fish mark that we've been trying to hit we're at 46 right now hopefully we can get on a few more fish though all right team swiss miss for the win I'm a big Swiss Miss hot chocolate fan. I do not like Nestle. Nestle hot chocolate is just not the same. <sighs> oh yeah. A delicious chocolatey snack out here on the ice. A little half and half in there as well. Give it that creamy texture, creamy flavor.
that was the ice. I don't know if my camera picked that up or not, but ooh, that'll make you think for a minute. Get the bike, get the bike, get the bike. Got him. Got him on the dead stick. Nice. This is a not shabby one. Not the biggest. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He fell off right at the hole. It was another cut. Another cutty. I did touch his tail right down here. So according to the rule book, that is a catch. So we're at 47 now, but I just don't have a lot of light left. We're, I, I've, I've maybe got 15 minutes left. Not a lot of time, but we are at 47 because the tail touch counts. Got him. Got him. It's that evening bite. It's that evening bite. Another cutty. Another cutty. That's two. I just touched the tail of the last one. Oh no! Oh, I didn't touch that one. Oh. His head was right at the hole. And I think I got too excited. I just tried to pull him up. Didn't work. Shoot. I know better than that. Well, YouTube fam, I hate to end the day on a lost fish, but the breeze is actually starting to pick up. That sun's gone down and it is getting cold fast. We got the sled in tow behind us, heading for the warm truck. Couldn't quite get to the 50 fish mark, but that's okay. Still a fantastic last couple of days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.